Hey gamers, I am Cybersnack7. Hope you're all well, guys. Back again with another video. But this video is not going to be about games. Uh, this is going to be about my love of Star Wars, put it that way. Um, I've uh, talked about this, I think it was briefly at the beginning of the year, what I was thinking about doing. I know it's now at the end of March, but uh, I thought it was a good time to start. So it's technically, uh, I'm going to do a few videos. Um, I'm going to see how they go anyway. Um, and it's going to be about my love of Star Wars um, in terms of my collecting habits also, what I've collected over the years, uh, any uh, new purchases that I've picked up concerning lot like, figures, um, music even, films, you name it, anything and everything to do with Star Wars. So these videos ain't going to be monthly or weekly or whatever, they'll just appear uh, when they appear and when I feel like doing a video about my Star Wars collection. Um, but as I say, it could be random, it could be about anything, uh, it could be a new hat. It's just the way the videos are going to go. But I've got plenty of Star Wars merchandise, which I've picked up over the years, that I can go through. And obviously, future items also, uh, because I've, um, I've started going into collecting for the Sideshow figures, um, which they ain't cheap, so um, I'll be picking up around three this year. Um, and hopefully, hopefully another couple of niche items as well uh, around Christmas time. So fingers crossed. But uh, as I say, I'm just going to give uh, give this a go. Um, uh, see how popular it is. If it if it you know if it's quite popular, the videos, then I'll continue. If not, then I'll just flutter away into the wind and then they forgot about it. But you know, it's, I thought it was about time I did something different on the channel. Um, just to give it a bit of variety, and it's something as I say I've got a passion for as much as gaming. So uh, this episode, guys, is going to be about my Laserdisc film collection. It's not massive, but um, I've got two box sets and one standalone film uh, within my Laserdisc collection. Um, and one box set I've only just recently picked up, probably about a month ago. So guys, I'm just going to show you my Laserdisc collection in this episode. So enjoy. Um, hopefully, there'll be a second video. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to go and show you my laser disc collection so see you later guys okay guys so let's have a look at my small star wars laser disc collection uh, i thought i'd do it in this format um as it's easier for you to look at so uh we'll start with the standalone movie first which is this one which is my original 1977 cut of star wars laser disc now this is a very old film. This came out in 1982. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit worse for wear. But I did find this in a charity shop about seven years ago. So it's been passed around from collection to collection. So I saved it initially. Um, specifically, I bought this for nostalgic reasons, obviously, because they got the original artwork for the Star Wars poster on the front and on the back also. Um, you got two classic scenes from Star Wars itself. Bit sun faded, obviously, but um, never mind. I, I'm very happy to have it. Uh, this is the PAL format of um, the laser disc, as I do collect for PAL and NTSC. But there is the cover. Now, what I'm going to do is show you a disc. A majority of you know what laser discs look like, but I'm still going to show you anyway and just give you a bit of info about the discs. So, here is a laser disc and there's my face in the top hello so there's your standard laser disc it's the size of an LP um, now there's two formats of uh, laser discs uh, there's your CLV and your CAV uh, so I'm going to tell you this uh, so when I'm showing you the other box sets you know what CLV and CAV means so CLV is your standard long play disc uh, which has 60 minutes of film each side of a disc. Simple as that. With your CAV, which is CAV, uh, they have 30 minutes per side, uh, and that allows you to uh, pause the film frame by frame. Uh, so you can watch the entire film frame by frame if you wanted to, uh, for the over-the-top movie buffs. If you want to check out every single scene frame by frame, you've got the option to do that. But the CAV films were really only... Um, produced for special editions, you know, box sets and things like that, because um, uh, it was it was just uh, more expensive to make. 
so basically uh, a lot of these last discs were CLV uh, and standard long play 60 minutes per side so that's enough uh, knowledge about the laser discs this is the uh, Star Wars laser disc obviously uh, which is this one so that's the first film guys and that's the original Star Wars uh, the original cut uh, of the 1997 Star Wars right let's get rid of that one pop this away right now let's move on to the first of two box sets. Now, this box set is the actual second release of the Star Wars trilogy. Uh, this is uh, quite a nice box set, but this is where um, opinions split about these films. But it's this one anyway. And it's the Star Wars Special Edition trilogy, uh, the THX version. Um, this came out in 1997 and um, there's five discs with this one uh, and this is presented in CAV which is 30 minutes per side um, and this is where George Lucas decided to tinker with the films a little bit and uh, you know add footage make things more cinematic clean it up a little bit um, and personally add two scenes in the film uh, of Star Wars which really you could have done without but uh, I'd say a majority of it, um, which is added, is, you know, is good. I, I can live with it. But um, in terms of scenes which he shouldn't have added, uh, I personally think the Jabba the Hutt scene uh, should never be there. Um, because I'm a, I'm a purist and I prefer the original cut of the Star Wars trilogy anyway. Um, and then when you watch the Star Wars the first time and you see Han Solo talking about Jabba the Hutt, you had to wait to Return of the Jedi to find out who this character was. So it was anticipation of finding out who he was, what was he like, you know, so forth and whatever. Uh, but there was a, an original scene that they did for the original Star Wars uh, with Jabba the Hutt in, but it was a human character. So all he did was just digitise over that character with a younger looking Jabba the Hutt and incorporated it into the original Star Wars movie. Um, and to me, it just didn't work. Uh, I really didn't like it. Um, as I say, the opinion split. Some people probably do like it, but for me personally, being the purist I am, I don't like it. Um, also, the other scene is the uh, Greedo scene in the bar, where obviously everybody knows Han Solo blasts him with his, uh, with his gun. Um, and what they did was incorporate a gun in Greedo's hand, so it made it look... It made it, made, Made it look like Han Solo basically shot Greedo in self-defense. I can see where you know where they're coming from with that, but personally, it's another scene that I shouldn't have uh, touched. It should have left it be. But with the majority of this trilogy, I'm quite happy with it. But anyway, let's uh, digress. Let's get back onto the uh, trilogy box set. So this is the front cover, uh, and it's a slip case. Obviously, you can see the disc slipping the side. On the back, uh, nothing too fabulous. Just the Names of the films and the Lucas Art sign 20th Century Fox also on the side as well. So that is your front cover, and then we'll look at the inner case which was presented like this. So on the top, you have a pamphlet, um, and as you can see, these are the revised uh, trilogy posters which they did for the uh, revised films. Uh, basic information, Star Wars Trilogy with the three nice posters on. Now, inside the pamphlet is a nice, very colourful uh, bit of information about the films. Um, as you can see, you've got certain scenes with Jabba in, the new uh, Jabba scenes. Also, the scenes that are incorporated throughout the different films. Um, this is just a brief explanation on uh, why he did it, what he's done. Um, and it's, it's a decent little read for what it is. I would have liked a little bit more information on it, but it is what it is, and it's what I got, unfortunately. But still a nice little read, and still a nice little pamphlet to have. On the back, as you can see, this is the chapter index. All your discs and uh, all the scenes per disc, basically. So that's your nice little pamphlet. And then, last but not least, are your discs. So I'll take these out. And as I say, it's presented in five discs. 
Now, for some people, um, obviously, uh, having disc changes um, is a problem uh, that, that you, you just don't like waiting or taking out a disc and turning it over. Uh, but with the laser disc that I've got, um, you can pop it in the, the disc and it automatically turns over for you without you having to eject the disc and turn it over. Uh, and it literally is a couple of seconds, so you can live with that. Uh, but as I say, five discs, three films spread over five discs. So that is the trilogy number one, the 1997 release of the Star Wars revamped trilogy. So that's that one. Right, pop that away. And then finally, we have my recentest purchase. Now, this I bought about a month ago now. Now, this one I've been waiting for to get my hands on for a long, long time. This one um, is easily my favourite because it's the original cuts of the films. You can't get this on any other format, uh, disc-wise, as far as I know. Um, you just can't get the original trilogy on disc format for stuff apart from the, the way that I've got it here. But it is this one. And at long last, I own the Star Wars trilogy, the Definitive Collection. Now, uh, this was only produced uh, as NTSC um, America and uh, in Japan. It never had a PAL release, unfortunately. But as you can see, the box art is different. Uh, much bigger uh, box. Um, you have you do have a few more items in this compared to the uh, other one I've just showed you. But as you can see, lovely artwork. You've got the TIE Fighter and um, the X-Wing taking each other out there. Uh, nice, uh, as I say, design on the front. This one came out in 1993, so this is slightly older, obviously. Uh, thankfully, the transfer and the disc quality is good. Sound quality is brilliant. Uh, as I say, with both of these, they are in THX. Um, and to, to be honest, um, if you had a really decent sound system set up, uh, the sound quality is second to none with laser discs. It's absolutely fantastic with the THX or the Dolby Digital, things like that. Uh, but as I say, the only bugbear about these laser discs are uh, the fact that they are prone to disc rot. But thankfully, uh, my two trilogies are intact. Anyway, let's turn this box over. As you can see on the back, you've got... Um, Bit of information, as you can see, there's a few marks on this, unfortunately, but I can live with that. Uh, you know, for its age, um, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, but it's, as I say, it's just a nice uh, artwork of the original trilogy there. Uh, just a bit of information about what discs you got and things like that, and what's in the pack. On the side, uh, turn that over, it's just the usual spiel on the side. But there is the box. Uh, love this box. Uh, very very happy to have this at last it's uh I, i've just been waiting such a long time to get hold of it and uh it, it don't come cheap nowadays unfortunately but that is the box now first thing you get in there um is this which is uh, a nice pamphlet uh this is a little bit better than the other pamphlet in the 1997 release it's just again uh, a pamphlet about um the disc information but you do have a little read in there uh, you got the stars beyond the camera. Um, uh, just little biases about certain people, obviously George Lucas, Frank Oz, and such. Um, and then it carries on and tells you about the film itself, and then it tells you the ch chapters uh, and how it how it plays out on the disc. Um, also, you've got in this one audio commentary, which is a bonus uh, from certain people from the Star Wars franchise. Um, and nice little artwork down the sides as you progress through each film. So you got Empire Strikes Back. Um, and then we have, last but not least, the Return of the Jedi. Let's go back a bit, find you that. There we go, Return of the Jedi. Now, I don't know what uh, people's thoughts are on the trilogy. Um, I'm assuming, I'd say 90% of us... Uh, can say Empire Strikes Back is probably the best of the trilogy. I'm definitely going to say that because it's one of my all-time favourite films. There's no two ways about it. Um, but anyway, I digress again. There is the pamphlet, the collector's pamphlet. Very, very nice. Now, the extra thing you got in this pack, which you never got and you don't get anywhere else, is this book, which is George Lucas, The Creative Impulse. Now, with this book... 
um, as you can see, nice design on there of the TIE Fighter and the X-Wing again. This book concerns the story of this man, which is George Lucas. Um, and it's not just about Star Wars, it's about his life, how he started, where he grew up, what got him into filmmaking, and then it just uh, goes on into him making his first film um, up until the likes of the Star Wars franchise. And then it continues through um, into also other movies like, as you can see there, you've got scenes from uh, Indiana Jones. Like so. And then it goes further into it. And you do have Howard the Duck there, and also there is Willow. Uh, and then that's it, I think. It takes it right up until his merchandise. And um, the best decision he ever made was to take on merchandise, because he made millions from that, as we all know. But that is the book itself. Really, really nice uh, little read, and a very nice book to have in the collection. So that's the book. And then finally, last but not least, are the discs so they're presented like this this time um like so and in this one you have three discs per film um obviously nine sides 30 minutes per side because this is presented in cab also so there is your star wars um and then we have my favorite the Empire Strikes Back. And then finally, we have The Return of the Jedi. So guys, that is my collection of Star Wars laser discs. I'll just show you this one last time. And what was in the pack. And there we have it. So guys, um, that's my Star Wars laser disc collection. Um, Hopefully this first video goes down quite well. Um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'm going to leave it there. Okay guys, so that was my Star Wars Laserdisc collection. Uh, sorry about the abrupt end on that video. Uh, my memory ran out of my phone so I've had this little extra on. Just to say again, thanks for watching guys and I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope to be doing more videos in the future of my Star Wars collection. Could be anything. Uh, could be figures, it could be music, it could be, well... Let's just see what happens in the next video, guys. So, thanks for watching again, and may the force be with you. All the best, guys.